What's up guys, Justin here of Yucatech and more and more smartphone manufacturers are now releasing trimmed down variants of their flagship devices. We have the iPhone SE 2020 for Apple, the Nova 7 SE for Huawei and now we have the OnePlus Nord. Not SE but it's the toned down version of the OnePlus 8. There are a lot of exciting things we'd like to share about it and here's our full review. Right off the bat, the OnePlus Nord looks very eye-catching and hype. It's got a glossy back finish that's made out of glass and it's protected with Corning Gorilla Glass 5. The unit we have is in the blue marble color but it's also available in a more classic gray onyx variant. Now even if it has a glass build, it's not very prone to fingerprint smudges, which is good. Up front, we get a 6.44 inch fluid AMOLED display with Corning Gorilla Glass 5 protection as well. Its bezels are thin with a slightly thicker bottom part. On the top left corner of the display, you won't miss its dual front facing cameras and you'll also find on the screen its in-display fingerprint scanner. On the left, you'll find its volume rocker while on the right are its power button and OnePlus's signature three-way alert slider. They're all tactile, clicky, and the alert slider is just really handy for quick sound alert control. On top, you'll find a noise-canceling microphone while at the bottom are its downward-firing linear speaker, a USB Type-C port, noise cancellation microphone for calls, and a dual SIM card tray with no expandable storage option. At the back, you'll find its quad rear camera stacked vertically, its LED flash beside that, and some noticeable branding. In the hands, the Nord feels good to hold. It doesn't feel hefty, and the curved sides give it a good grip. Its overall design looks pop at the same time deluxe, and it's something you'll easily distinguish that's OnePlus. Putting the spotlight on its display, the Nord sports a 6.44-inch Full HD plus 90Hz Fluid AMOLED display with a resolution of 2400 by 1080 pixels. It has support for HDR10+, and like I said, it has a 90Hz refresh rate display. Since we get an AMOLED display, the screen produces vibrant and punchy colors with deep blacks. Details are crispy and that 90Hz hits all the right spots and makes every navigating and scrolling buttery smooth. For display customization, you can completely hide the punch hole if you don't like it, adjust the color temperature, and there's also an optional vibrant color effect that enhances the colors in video playback. Audio-wise, the downward-firing linear speaker can get pretty loud and can fill up a small room. Its quality is decent enough for casual use and multimedia consumption. Unfortunately, we don't get any 3.5mm audio port in here, so better get your favorite Bluetooth earphones or hook up an adapter to use wired headsets. Running the software is Oxygen OS 10 based on Android 10. And as always, we love the Oxygen OS as it is one of the best clean-looking and straightforward Android skins in the market. The interface is highly customizable and we get the usual app drawer option too. There are not too many pre-installed apps except for a couple of proprietary apps like the OnePlus Community app and such Google apps, which should be fine for most users. You can navigate with gestures or with the usual buttons, whichever you prefer, and other nifty features you can tweak around are dark mode, app lockers, parallel apps, and reading mode. Moving on to performance, powering the OnePlus Nord is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 765G chipset coupled with an Adreno 620 GPU. Locally, we get the 8GB of RAM plus 128GB of internal storage configuration. And undoubtedly, performing several tasks with this device was one heck of an experience. With its powerful internals, launching apps, playing heavy games, web browsing, and multitasking was a breeze. For some numbers, we'll flash the benchmark scores now. For biometrics, you can unlock the device via its in-display fingerprint scanner and face recognition. It both works accurately and quickly. However, you might need to adjust your finger a little lower on the screen for the fingerprint scanner. Talk about connectivity, the OnePlus Nord is packed with all the modern connectivity features including dual SIM support, dual band Wi-Fi, dual band GPS, Bluetooth 5.1, USB 3.1 Type-C, NFC, and yes, it does support a local 5G network. Keeping this device running is a sizable 4,115 mAh battery with support for 30 watts Warp Charge 30T. 
which is very fast and you can only charge the device for more or less an hour. In the PC Marks battery test, it got a total score of 10 hours and 58 minutes. Meanwhile, in our standard video loop test, wherein we loop a 1080p movie at 50% brightness, 0% volume, and airplane mode turned on, the Nord yielded 19 hours and 25 minutes. If you play a lot of games and use the phone most of the time with other heavy tasks, then the battery will not last you a whole day. However, it's not really that big of a deal since it charges rapidly. And if you want to save more battery, switching to a 60Hz display than the 90Hz helps. When it comes to cameras, the Nord has a total of 4 rear lenses. This includes a 48MP Sony IMX586 main, an 8MP ultrawide, a 5MP depth, and a 2MP macro lens. For selfies, its dual front-facing cameras are composed of a 32MP primary shooter and an 8MP ultrawide. The camera app is loaded with features, yet it's still easy to use. A small thing that can take some getting used to is its gallery and switch camera buttons positioning. If you're used to having the quick gallery shortcut on the left and the switch camera on the right, then you might get some tendency to confuse them on the Nord. Then again, it's a tiny detail that you can get used to in the long run. As for photo quality, photos taken from its rear cameras look very good. It provides good colors, especially under good lighting conditions, with some subtle boosting for bright hues such as green and red. Shadows and details are on point, and its 48MP shooter is as good as its standard mode with the extra sharpness and details of course. Its AI already detects night scenarios right away, so you can observe minimal adjustments compared to turning the nightscape mode on. I have no complaints with its portrait mode as it provides clean subject background separation and if you're really into photography, you can maximize its pro mode that allows you to save photos in JPEG, JPEG 48 megapixel, and even in RAW files. Selfies with the Nord look great under well-lit scenarios. With its dual front shooters, you get a wide angle option that's a hit or miss if you want the same color reproduction as in standard selfies. But hey, this is something we found useful especially if you want to take groofies. So one of the things that the Nord impressed me with is its rear camera video quality. You can shoot up to 4K at 30 frames per second and the stabilization is great. This video was taken from a car yet it still managed to provide a smooth video output. Well guys, I assure you this is something you can use for vlogging. Alright, let's talk about price. So we're at a point where 5G capabilities in mid-range devices aren't new anymore, but it's something that's always nice to keep just in case. For 21,990 pesos, the OnePlus Nord is currently on top of my recommendations list for 5G-ready mid-rangers available today. Besides the premium design and outstanding display, it packs very good performance and cameras that won't let you down. And you can always rely on its 30 watts warp charge despite its average battery capacity. But most of all, never thought this would be an aspect we'd consider today, but it has Google Mobile services from the get-go. And that's it for this review, guys. Feel free to let us know in the comments what you think about this OnePlus Nord. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads, and be sure to visit yugatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Once again, this is Justin, and don't forget to wash your hands and stay at home.